lose the yardage and of course they also lose the down on the grounding call and it's quickly second and long back to throw O'Connell oh that's into double coverage and intercepted picked up by the linebacker Eric Kendricks and he'll be marked down at the two yard line but such a costly interception nearly a pick six but now they're so close they are knocking on the door for a touchdown and I never want to get on any team for being aggressive because that's part of what their makeup is and oftentimes it's successful but in this case you've got to be selective about it and make sure you take care of the football that interception almost cost them six points now their defense has to run onto the field probably giving the quarterback a few side eyes along the way they've got to see if they can stop a score and they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Give him two yards on that one. Second and goal now. I know the game's not over, but there's got to be a sense of satisfaction right now for the guy carrying the football a bunch today. 99 yards, and he has enough time to go over the century mark. Well, you got to give it to him again, right? Yeah, there's no doubt about it. You're not worried about losing yardage here. You're not worried about any of that. You just want to get him to the promised land for every runner. 100 yards or more in a game. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity, because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now, just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. Trying to barrel up in there, but I don't think he got it. So call that no gain on the sneak, and now they're still a yard short here on fourth. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. A tougher task for them now. That turnover on their last possession led to the field goal, meaning that they have to now try to erase a two-score deficit here in the fourth. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They're going to hurry back to the line now. On first down, they go with Jacobs again. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Once again, it's Jacobs. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and ten. They will run out of the gun with Jacobs. Runs over it. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. This is first and 10. Throwing, O'Connell. And this one's incomplete. Limited time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to save her every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a nonstop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same page right now because I think they're going to try and get several plays up in quick succession if they can. And the Raiders are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Here's O'Connell. And it's caught. Here now, second and goal. Jacobs will cross the line. He's in. Touchdown, Raiders. Ah, what a luxury it is to be able to call a bowling ball like Josh Jacobs down near the goal line. 5'10", 220 pounds, and he's not afraid to get in there and get the tough yards. He finishes off this drive with a touchdown run. 
So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. O'Connell. And he will get into the end zone as a two-point conversion is successful. And the lead is down to a field goal here in the fourth. So they got their touchdown. Now down a field goal. Here comes the onside kick. Oh, it's loose, and the Raiders have it. So they needed the onside kick, and they got it. Now they need a field goal. And that's the beauty of this. They don't have to get six. A field goal ties the ball game for them. Nicely executed play. They'll come up first and ten here. He'll look to throw. Able to connect with Jacobs. On the move past the 40. There he goes again. And finally wrestled down at the 11. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. He's back to throw. Same target. It's Jacobs again. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Here's second down. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? And that'll be a free five yards for the offense. Just like a tennis match, that's just an unforced error. Stay alert, don't jump early, and give them free yardage. On second down, Jacobs. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. I'm all surprised right here. They've got three timeouts left. The clock's running down, and they are using them. Those timeouts do you no good at home. Use them now. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Well, this crowd trying to force a false start here. Third and inches. O'Connell's going to sneak it, and he's going to run into a brick wall right in the middle of the field, and I don't think he got there. Well, that play seemed well scouted defensively. They collapsed everything inside. Nowhere to go on the quarterback sneak. Now he's going to bring up fourth down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 12 seconds to go in the football game. Who wants it more? This is fourth and a yard. They'll go for it. O'Connell. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. And they have taken the lead here in the final seconds. Charles, that drive was perfect. Methodical, executed so well, and they grabbed that lead with almost no time left for a last gas from the other side. No way you could have drawn up a better final drive because not only did they keep their eyes on the end zone, but they made sure they bled the clock out as well and denied their opponent a chance to respond. That's just terrific situational football to end this one. Extra point by Carlson, up and good. And it would appear, barring some late heroics, they're going to get out of here with a come-from-behind victory. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Here's first and 10. Herbert to throw. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. So after all of this, it comes down to one final play. And just think of what it's going to be because from this distance, you've got to be prepared for everything. Hook and laterals, tip balls, you name it. A lot of laterals after a catch. Just got to be prepared, stay on your feet defensively and tackle someone. Here comes second down. One last throw here for Herbert. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is...
is over. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially 